Oh boy. Well, shit. Hello everybody, welcome to the Cleveland Beamer Sim Sports channel. This is going to be the first of many iRacing etiquette videos introduced here on the channel. Hopefully, can help you whether you're new or trying to get some tips and tricks on the sports to get a little better and more comfortable with some common situations. This video is going to tackle what you need to do when you get into an incident that means you crash you lose control of your car whatever that may be and then what do you need to do when rejoining incidents happen all the time whether you push too hard into a corner whether you come into contact with another vehicle whether you just simply lose control these situations are very important when it comes to your reactions because you do have responsibilities in these given situations first and foremost your number one responsibility when you get into an incident is to remove your car from the racing line this is not always possible however in many cases you can't control where your car goes and you need to make sure if you lose control if you get into an incident with another vehicle that you get off the racing line it is definitely a no-no and definitely a way to upset those you're racing with to impact their race by causing another incident because whatever situation uh, got you into your original incident to begin with so you want to make sure you get your car off the racing line secondly you want to make sure that you get the car stopped so if you spin off the track just get the car to a complete stop if you're spinning on the track sliding on the track you want to get it slowed down and you want to make sure that you avoid the car going across the track you want to keep it in basically in the line that you fell into whether it happened to be the racing line whether it was some other line this will allow you to be slightly more predictable and allow others to avoid you if they have to take evasive action all right so let's take a look at a common situation we're trying to stay ahead of the cars behind pushing really hard we're braking really late oh he still gets by and you know what we're gonna try to catch him uh, and we just overdo it all right we end up in the gravel first thing i'm doing trying to get the car stopped stay out of the barrier now i'm looking at my relative i see there's other cars coming now these have gone by i have five seconds till this next car so i'm gonna try to get some tires on the track i'm gonna stay off as much of the racing line as i can and i'm just gonna go wide here initially i'm even gonna let this car by and now i'm clear and i'm gonna get back up to speed common situation go in too hard go off track you don't impact anything you don't take damage that's how you want to handle it get back on safely don't pull out directly in front of another car and we're going yeah we lost places by my count four maybe five cars went by but we didn't take any damage and we didn't take out any other cars so we have the ability to fight and get those positions back the worst thing you could do in the incident that I just showed would be to just pull out as soon as you get into the grass to try to pull out onto the racing line regardless that those five cars were coming by etiquette wise one of the worst thing you could do it's the best way to get reported in a public section it's the best way 
to get banned from a league if you do it too many times. You have to responsibly rejoin the racetrack. All right, let's take another look at a common situation. So I just tried a little too hard there. Long slide. The car wanted to start backing up, but I kept the brake pressure on, did my best to steer the car in a way to where we wouldn't go back on the track. I'm looking for a safe gap, keeping my car off the racing line and just bringing it up to speed. So on that long slide, the biggest consideration is keeping that car from drifting onto the racing line. When I initially spun, it went to the inside of the track towards the pit wall. And I did everything I could with steering and brake pressure to make sure that my car stayed on that trajectory towards the pit wall. Many people get into those situations and they get off the brake and let the car go wherever it wants to. That, etiquette wise, again, terrible thing to do. By doing that, you're saying, you know what, my race is done and I don't care who else's race is impacted as a result, which is not okay. So you wanna bring your car to a stop, regain your bearings and safely get back on track. So let's talk about rejoining. The worst has happened. You've collided with another car. You made a mistake, whatever it may be. But you are now off the track. So what are some things you need to keep in mind when rejoining? Well, the first is that you have a gap. iRacing has a built-in relative that tells you how close the cars are around you. And that is a great tool to use when rejoining. You want to make sure that you have at least five seconds of a gap, if not more, before you re-enter that racing line. You have to keep in mind that if your rear tires are in the grass and you try to accelerate, the car may not be able to get going because you don't have as much traction on grass. That's just a fact. Uh, this guy's getting spicy. All right. Another thing you want to keep in mind is if you go off track in a section that is high speed, you need to have enough time to get off the racing line. Just in case you're unaware, the racing line is going to be that ideal line that the majority of cars are taking that allows them to extract the fastest lap time. That line really should be avoided at all costs when you're rejoining. You may have to cross it, but you don't want to rejoin and stay in it when you are not at racing speed. It's very unsafe and will ultimately lead to an incident if you don't get out of the way in time because your fellow racers are not going to be expecting somebody going 60, 70 miles an hour slower than regular traffic in a blind corner. So camping in the racing line is about the worst thing you could possibly do. So first and foremost, when you get on the track, once you've selected a safe gap, you need to get off the racing line. So, let's see if I can get into one of those situations. All right, going around the corner. Just gave way too much gas. Common situation. And look at this, huge line of cars coming. In this situation, you just have to wait. There's nothing you can do. I could try to get out ahead of this yellow car, but the gap isn't safe. Now I have six seconds, so I'm gonna get going. And I'm gonna get off that racing line. 
If I need to, I can go to the pit here, or I can just get up to speed. As you're getting up to speed, there's a couple things you want to consider. If you took damage because you hit a wall, you hit another car, you want to take the next several corners pretty gently. Sometimes the car will go just fine in a straight line, but you'll find out the moment you go to turn that if you have damage, the car will lose control. Now, if you just lost control, spun to the grass, didn't hit anything, more than likely you have zero damage and you can continue on. But if you've contacted something, absolutely take care the first couple of corners. Go ahead, give the car a little bit of a wiggle. Take your turn to one direction a little more gingerly. Next time you get to go the opposite direction for the first time, take that a little more gingerly. Make sure you have a good feeling for the car because there's nothing worse than getting on track and then immediately losing control and causing another incident. All right, so let's get into a common situation here. Chasing the car ahead. And we're just gonna overdo it. So I'm pushing. Coming up to a very difficult corner ahead. And I give it too much going out. So I modulated the brake pressure there to make sure I kept my line kind of going down the middle of the track. As soon as I came to a stop, I looked at my relative to see where the gap was. I saw I had a few seconds. And since I was already pointed in a direction that allowed me to get off to the side of the track quickly, I proceeded so I wouldn't be in the way for the next set of cars that were flying down the track. So hopefully that helps you in these two common situations when it comes to crashing and then rejoining the track. And hopefully it helps you uh, be a little safer out there on the track in your future races. This is Morgan here at the Cleveland Beamer Sim Sports Channel. We'll see you next time. Oh no.